So Georgia, we're here today to talk about grooming in cats. Yes. And we have the lovely Belle. And Belle's one year old? Yes. Okay. So why is grooming important for your pet's health? And we groom really for three main benefits. Number one is general looks and to avoid matting and tatting, okay. which not only doesn't look very nice, but actually is potentially, uh, it encourages parasites. The cats feel uncomfortable if their fur isn't sleek and they actually can tug at their fur. Grooming doesn't really treat parasites, but it'll help you identify them. And parasites are fleas, are very common, ticks, okay. and ear mites. And other issues that you may detect are various conditions associated with the fur and more the skin. Cuts, for example, a lot of long-haired cats like Belle here may have a cut and you may never notice. Abscess infections, or even lumps and bumps underneath the skin. So these are all the benefits and the things that we can detect whilst grooming. So is grooming a calming experience for cats generally? Some cats will love grooming and actually happily just lie and take it like a massage. Other cats fidget and you have to stop, start, start, stop, start, stop. And that's not uncommon. So don't worry if that happens. It's just patience and just getting her used to the sensation of the brushes. Okay. And in older cats, actually, we have to be considerate that they might be a little stiffer in their joints. And they, again, don't want to be held in the same position for too long. Okay, but Belle here is one years old and she's young, fit, fit and healthy. The second type of uh, instrument is a comb. Now this is called a flea comb. It's not because it treats fleas, it's actually when we're grooming through it, you can see the most, much closer on the fur. And you will may potentially sometimes see fleas coming out on the flea comb. Okay. okay, again, you're not treating the fleas by doing that. You'll need to use a veterinary recommended product to actually treat the fleas, but it's good to diagnose. So in terms of the actual process of mm -hmm. grooming is I recommend starting with a coarse brush yes. and actually just going along the back and in, in the direction of the fur. Now the easiest part to groom is the back and the sides. Mm -hmm. And some cats will like this, others will find it more fidgety. Okay, so down the back and the sides. Then we get to the tough areas. The tough areas are the head, the neck, yes. the paws, and then the belly, okay? okay? so. Just showing with Belle, some cats will actually roll over and take it. Other times what you have to do is just gently lift them up and just gently, gently groom down the side and doing it with her neck as well. And then onto the legs and the paws. The paws are very sensitive. The most sensitive part of the cat is actually the whiskers. We never cut the whiskers. And again, often if we bend the whiskers using grooming, they will flinch because that's their radar detection really. And that's pretty much it. So just remembering gentleness, mm -hmm. patience, don't feel you have to do it all in one go. Sometimes it's better to do five minutes today, five minutes later, perhaps in the same day, or come back tomorrow, okay? Um, checking for the parasites, yes. checking for the skin condition, the lumps, the bumps, the cuts, and just trying to make it as positive experience for you and her as possible. Okay. But, but there certainly are health benefits of doing it. 